Welcome everybody to another Extreme Performance Series video blog edition. Uh, today I want to talk about GPUs and vGPUs and the performance about that. And with me, I have one of my peers joining me, uh, Uday. And Uday is going to just kind of take us through some of the fundamentals and show us just how amazing performance is when we're looking at vGPUs. So Uday, welcome to the video here today. Why don't you give yourself a quick introduction? I have been at VMware for 12 years. But last four years, I have been particularly focused on uh, machine learning using GPUs and particularly machine learning using virtualized GPUs. I have been a big believer in virtualized accelerators. Well, and that's awesome because we start to think about that and say, well, these are accelerators. This is going to make everything go fast. But obviously, we virtualize them. There's got to be an, an overhead to it, right? And I, I know you're here today to show us that's not the case. So what do you have to share with us today, Uday? Okay, so. We are going to show you that you get bare metal performance using NVIDIA vGPUs in VMware vSphere for AI workloads. See, that's awesome. That's incredible. Well, why don't we start with uh, kind of some of the basics? Let's uh, build up that idea of, you know, first of all, why we'd even kind of want to look at that. So I understand you have some slides for us today. Last year at VMworld, NVIDIA CEO, Jensen Wang, and former CEO of uh, VMware, Pat Gelsinger, announced the partnership for NVIDIA AI Enterprise with VM vSphere. And we do get bare metal performance using NVIDIA vGPUs in VMware vSphere. So let's first look at what is virtualization of GPUs and their benefits? Why virtualize a GPU? A typical VMware customer scenario is as follows. They want to leverage GPU investment across different domains. They have ML workloads on Linux for data scientists and ML researchers. They have virtual desktop infrastructure for 3D CAD and office workers on Windows. VMware Horizon View product uses this. Our customers' users, are, their employees, are in different time zones and using GPUs at different times. So there is a lot of unutilized GPUs resources available. You can improve data center resource utilization using vGPUs. NVIDIA vGPUs in vSphere enable all of the above. Let's look at how our customers are actually using the GPUs in VMware vSphere. They use it to accelerate 2D, 3D graphics workloads for VMware Horizon. GPUs are used for enabling VMware BLAST Extreme Protocol. Uh, GPUs offer hardware assist for encoding and decoding H.264 and H.265 remoting protocols. We have machine learning data scientists using uh, GPUs for deep learning as well as for machine learning. High performance computing has always been using GPUs and people have started to use virtualized GPUs and even for HPCs. Some of our customers are building prototypes for augmented reality and virtual reality using NVIDIA GPUs and virtualized GPUs in VMware vSphere. Whenever people talk about virtualization and running uh, workloads in virtualized environment, the first question is, what's the performance? What is the virtualization overhead? So let's look at the performance of virtualized GPUs. We will compare the performance of virtualized GPUs with the native GPUs. First, we'll look at the training workloads. Um, Y-axis here is the normalized training time. And it is normalized with respect to the bare metal. Lower is better. X-axis here shows different benchmarks. And we have particularly chosen benchmarks from different domains, from speech synthesis, speech recognition, to recommendation engines, to language translation, to single shot detection. That's an object detection. Um, and all of these cases, you can see that you get bare metal performance. Right, everybody perceives that there's some virtualization overhead. And what you're telling me here is that using these accelerators, 
we can basically show like that's a wash. So now we have all of the virtualization benefits. We can make the machines portable. We can do all the neat things with them, like be motion and such like that. Plus, still offer that accelerated experience with the vGPUs. That's that's awesome. That that's absolutely right, Mark. And so there is no reason not to use virtualization for Excel, for machine learning workloads. Now let's look at how you can scale your machine learning workloads by adding NVIDIA GPUs, particularly NVIDIA's virtualized GPUs. The workload here we are going to use is a BERT distributed deep learning training. And we are going to scale from one machine to two machines to four machines. Each of the machines has NVIDIA A100 GPU, which is completely virtualized. All of these uh, machines are connected by Rocky using a Mellanox Connect 6C DX card. And Rocky stands for RDMA over Converge uh, Ethernet. And Y axis here shows the scale as you add the number of uh, machines. The green bar show the virtualized performance and the gray bar show the bare metal performance. And you can see that you get bare metal performance even when you use a single machine or you use two machines or you get or use four machines. So even when you are scaling across multiple machines, you are using distributed training, you get bare metal performance. And when you use virtualized GPUs, you get virtualization benefits as well. And this is the power of virtualization. So I think that's pretty cool again, right? So not only on the host, but across the host. So we're able to satisfy the requirements, use many instances of uh, a processing platform or many uh, number of GPUs as well too. So very cool. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Now that you have looked at the training performance, let's look at the inferencing performance with NVIDIA virtualized GPUs. We recently submitted our results to MLPerf and uh, these results are auditable. They are officially published. These are reproducible results. Um, and again, we chose two different types of uh, workloads, right? One is a natural language processing workload, uh, BERT, and another is a uh, imaging domain where we do the object detection. The y-axis here, is the normalized performance with respect to the bare metal. And for the BERT, the metric here is the samples process per second. And we use three A100 virtualized GPUs. And here you can see, even in high accuracy mode, as well as the low uh, normal accuracy mode, you get the bare metal performance for natural language process. Now let's look at the object detection. Again, it's the same story, right? Green bar shows the virtualized performance, gray bar shows the bare metal performance. And the metric here is the images process per second. Also like for simplicity, just the samples per second, right? And you get again the bare metal performance. The key thing to note here is that uh, we only use 24 logical cores in the virtualized environment out of 128 logical cores available. We were using AMD CPUs on those machines. And you can see that 104 logical cores are available for you to do other workloads. You could have other virtual machines using those logical uh, CPU cores. So now you can make your data centers really efficient and this is the power of virtualization. So you can get bare metal performance and you can also make your data centers more efficient by consolidating more workloads on the hosts with GPUs. So when okay. you use NVIDIA AI Enterprise with vSphere, you not only get the power of superior power of NVIDIA GPUs, but you get all the virtualization benefits of VMware vSphere. Well, thank you, Uday. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for sharing this data and raising our customer confidence. And uh, I look forward to joining you again in the future on another topic. Uh, but for now, thanks, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you on another edition of the Extreme Performance Series video blogs. Cheers.